Hi, welcome back. My name is Jim and this is Six String Studies. Today we're going to be looking at how to solo using just six notes, all on the fifth and seventh frets on the A, the D and the G strings. There's nothing you can do that's incorrect here. Whatever works for you, whatever sounds good for you is correct. So experiment, have fun with it and let's get to the lesson. Okay, so the six notes we're going to be using is the five on the A string, the seven on the A string, five and seven on the D string, and five and seven on the G string. So we could just play this. But it's uh, not very interesting, so let's make it more interesting by coming up with a lick. How about this? So we're going to go 5, 7 on the A, same on the D, and then when we get to the G string 5th fret, we're going to add some vibrato, and then finish on the 7 on the D string. So we get this slowly. Second half of the lick could be, let's come backwards. So we can go seven, five on the G, seven, five on the D, and then let's finish on that seven D. So we have. So if we combine them, Okay, what about using some hammer-ons? Hammer there. And some pull-offs for the uh, part two of the lick. So together, we get this. Again. A little faster. What about adding some, I don't know, some palm muting into it? Here we go. Again. A bit more up to speed. What about adding some slides? Experiment with which, uh, which fingers you prefer. Up to you, really. What about doing a combination of hammer-ons and slides? There's no right away, right or wrong thing here. It's just totally up to you, whatever you feel like doing. Um, change the rhythm up. So instead of going, we could do this, maybe. Pinch harmonics, if you know how to do those. Mm. 
okay? Or a combination of everything so far? Uh, bends. Slight pull down here, quarter note bend, really, it's uh, a microtonal bend. Full bend on that seventh fret of the G there. Hammer on there, grace note hammer on that was. Quick one. Just some ideas for you.